going to run through the three-year-olds real quick here. Uh, I'm actually better. I'm better. I'm, it's better that it's on here because I was worried I was going to miss Blue Tesla. So let's start. Amor Diener, been trained now four times, I believe. Last two times, Jason and I trained him. I trained him on uh, Wednesday. I thought he trained really well. Jason came back on Saturday. So he's well on his way back to the track. Very happy to report that. Arches Rainbow, second, but a beaten second. She just looks like she's lost that eye of the tiger that I thought she had down the lane. But I'd like to see her raced from off a helmet. You know, get a chance to attack them. Um, she's going to get lots of chances so over the next couple of weeks and into the next month. And if she starts to fizzle a little bit longer, I can even rest her and focus on the fall with her. Um, but still, trotting 58, doing her work. Blue Bayou Dio, man, talk about a horse that's really come to life. She's going to love Kentucky. 53, she set the track record. Flying on the end of it, just picked off. Just picked off in the final of um, the Kentucky race. Uh, her last start just raced tremendously. Blue Tesla, that could have been a, a really a diamond in the rough for us. That horse really, really looks good. Can't wait to race her on Wednesday at uh, Northfield Park. Bomb hugger, Mark, uh, Mark Beckwith's going to race her this week. He said she's in a real good spot. I think he said Friday, but I'm not positive, but I think that's what he said. Century Invictus, I talked to everybody about this. This horse got to go somewhere. Can't keep racing him for 8,800 Canadian, especially when he won the track at 10 to 1. That's lunacy for this horse. And that's not Harry's fault, not anybody's fault. It's just the way it is in Ontario. It's not set up for a horse like him right now. He needs to go somewhere. I'm going to be talking to Scotty and Megan over the next couple of days. Yonkers. I've said it all along. Yonkers is probably the place for this guy. Dustin Hanover is out in the field. He'll stay out in the field for a little while. Eyes of 10 is in full. We're waiting for the other horses. I got bad news in the sense that Stolen Dance is not in full. We're probably going to sell Stolen Dance. Um, it's unfortunate, but she just didn't get in full this year. So we can't sell her until we wean her from the wean, whenever the baby gets weaned from her uh, at some point in the near future, I guess, or in the future itself. Uh, we'll have Stolen Dance up for sale. I don't think we're going to retain her and wait this year. Um, but Isa 10 is in full to international money. Ooh, really happy to hear that. Uh, Garden State Dio is back now. It says turned out here on the site. She's not turned out. She's back training now at Mario's Barn. Got to let Wendy know that. Um, Gemstone Ruby Rose is or will be coming back in in the next. She either come back in last week or she'll come back in this week. We'll start jogging and training her down also. Grace, I'll be the first to admit, Grace has been flat, but I do believe she is going to come back around. Her blood wasn't super great this week, but better. All those mysterious counts that were jumping up after she collected have now subsided and come back down. Now it's just her differential was flipped. She wasn't awesome. I still think there's lots, lots of movement for Grace in the near future. Massive Profit was a little oddly flat the other day. I suspect they'll bounce back. Ross called them race flops, but I imagine he means flip flops. Um, he didn't. He felt that that was why he didn't race good, and I would concur. We tried him in flip flops once too, and it really didn't work out that well. Different horse, different track, bigger, stronger animal. So it really was two different things. But now it looks like it really wasn't. Uh, Matt's MVP will be schooling on Tuesday. They tell me he's sound and looks great. I can't wait to hear how he went on Tuesday. Uh, one to skip a few. Is in a clamor. She looked bad the other day, but there was an hour delay and a hard track. Probably going to do a little work on her. She's back in to go on Wednesday, and she is in a claimer, and she might be sold in the near future. And that's just not that's me saying, oh, I want to get rid of her. I love the filly. Love one to skip a few to death. And I know there may be people out there that believe she could be better and is better than that, and somehow we've screwed her up. Okay. She is for sale, so prove me wrong, I suppose. Uh, but otherwise, Skippy, just a, a beautiful filly. We just need to get her in a class where she's consistent, and I believe she is right now. Um, procrastinator. Uh, first over and a half is not his. Uh, no more Northfield unless we have to. Meadows or Sayota. Sayota races for a lot more money than the Meadows, but as you can imagine, it's tougher. We are going to the Meadows on Thursday, so I left it up to Jason. Either have Tim enter the horse Thursday at the Meadows, or we enter the horse Thursday at Sayota, but one way or another, he has to race on Thursday. Uh, Purple Aura and our girl, Sweet on Pete, are going to race Tuesday. Very, very happy to see them rebound, both of them. I've, I was told they both trained very, very good this week. So we'll see how they race in Sciota. Red Overbach will race Tuesday at Mohawk. I believe he's picked to win. So hopefully he uses this as springboard forward. Um, Renegade Gypsy race great. 
uh, raced good the other day, raced good the week before. He's been racing good. Mario's got him racing really, really well right now. Resolute Bay raced great the other day, second and 55, 28 in the end of it. Again, just showing that this horse can and will come back to life as I predicted he would. Slim Jimmy uh, is going to be in the final at Scioto this week in that uh, pop-up series thing. Man, he's, he's even when he wasn't awesome, he was still good. And he was very good the other day. Stonebridge Ducati is pretty well ready to come back jogging now. I'm going to see how Mario's barn look. If we have a place for him at the training center, he'll come back here. Or I might just say to Jared, hey, just start jogging that guy. And uh, I'll let you know when we're going to pick him up. Um, Sweet on Pete, as I said, is racing on Tuesday. Can't wait to race Big Pete. Three-point blue chip. I, I haven't got a lot of information over the last few weeks, but I believe he's supposed to start jogging soon. I know that he had blown through all the hurdles uh, and had done everything they expected him to do right up to this point. So we'll see if I get an update this week about three-point blue chip. Ty went on, blew a pus pocket. She's going to need another week. They'll race her and prep her for the final in Pennsylvania. So she'll be coming in sharp. Uh, Twinby Habanero will school again Tuesday at Mohawk. James said he was good the other day. 2-1. I'd like to see 58-59 this week. See how he feels. Twinkle in her eye. I'm waiting... There's one that I'd really love to be in full. We'll see if she is in full. Uh, I believe he said he was going to check her this week. I'm going to text him again when I'm done here. i to text him. I got one more person to text. Who was it? Uh, Wendy. <laughs> um, Unbeatable Kemp is out. He'll be out for another few weeks. We'll bring him back in. He's got a little freshening up to do, a little sharpening up to do. We'll bring him back in with the intention of racing him all fall and winter or at least into the winter of his four-year-old season. But I think we got big things ahead for uh, Unbeatable Kemp. Will to win Hanover. She was a winner in 57-2. and two. Looks like he found the spot for her. Looked good the other day. Very happy with her. World for two. In fairness, he did bleed a little bit the other day. We will... Um we will put him on Lazex and race him back his next start. It's just one of those things. I think uh, a lot of things went in. He got off to a great start, then he got sick, then he blew that quarter crack and puss pocket. Then we're trying to get him right again. He got on the line on, and was touching his knee for me, and then he bled the other day on Mike Wilder. So um, I think once we fix that part, we can start to polish him up in every other way. So you'll see him come back to what he was like before he ended up going out to the east coast so those are the three-year-olds i lied i said it was the last video i forgot all about the aged horses only a few of them i'll get to them just right now